First at noon, a search for answers after a young woman is shot and killed outside her grandmother's home. It happened overnight outside her grandmother's house in Hallandale Beach. A man with the woman was also shot. CBS 4 Silva Harapetian is live with the very latest for us. Silva. Good afternoon, Elliot. The shooting actually resulted in one death. The woman dying at the scene, the man taken to the hospital. Now, this uh, scene has moved about a block and a half away from the original shooting site. Take a look behind me. This is happening about an hour ago. This perimeter set up, we are told, this is where the person of interest lives, right around the corner from where, where the victims were shot. Uh, you can see a Hallandale Beach police officers gathered underneath that tent. They just pitched that tent, tent a few minutes ago, which means that they will probably be here for some time. It is unclear as to what is happening. We've seen uh, a dog brought to the scene. We've seen uh, officers and deputies walking around with rifles. Um, we are waiting to get an update. In the meantime, uh, the family of the victim searching for answers. I didn't know she's been shot. And I said, what? She's like, yeah, she's been shot in the head. A phone call from grandma about this woman's sister, 21-year-old Marlena Turnquest. I was asleep. I heard a shot. And as I got up, I heard another shot. Then I heard her scream out, oh, no. By that time, I'm in the front room. So I looked out my window and I saw them. I said, oh, Lord, my baby, my baby. Shot laying in the front of the house, bleeding. Marlena died. A second person was also shot, a man. He was taken to the hospital. Hallandale police have identified this man, 29-year-old Eddie Sebastian Mosley, as a person of interest. We do have evidence that shows that the three did know each other. And something occurred earlier in the evening that led up to this location where the shots fired incident occurred. Marlena moved to Florida about a year ago, but had just quit her job and sold her car and was moving back to North Carolina. She stayed here with me about a year, maybe a little longer. Her mother's in Carol North Carolina. We was preparing and packing, getting ready to go up there. Saturday night. She and her grandma had been packing the house and moving furniture, and that's where grandma says she remembers seeing Mosley. And I think I saw him right here in my living room. Family members told us off camera that he and Marlena may have been more than friends. Marlena had lent him money that he eventually paid back, but it seems he wasn't happy about her move, none of which still explained why anyone would take the 24 year old's life. Like, I just want answers like, why, who did it? What was your reason? And back here live just a few seconds ago, uh, while we, you were watching the story, we saw the officers that were gathered underneath that tent with their guns drawn move into uh, the home. Again, this is where we think the person of interest lives at this time. We know that he has a history, uh, a criminal history, um, a burglary, theft, and also drug charges. If you look at that officer right there, he's standing right be behind that pole, obviously. We are waiting for something to happen at this time. You can hear the dog barking behind us. Uh, obviously, they may think that he might be in there. We will be here at the scene. If there's any updates throughout the newscast, we will bring it to you. We're live. Silva Harapetti on CBS4 News.